So not only will the FAXX need to have better stealth capabilities than anything currently to penetrate deeper into foreign territory, but it will have to have a long enough combat range to be launched from a safe enough distance without exposing the aircraft carriers to hypersonic missiles and other threats, which, at this point, may have to be even further than previously thought. While 1,000 miles combat range may seem sufficient, as mentioned earlier, the DF-26B can allegedly reach an even further distance than the DF-21D, endangering everything within 2,500 miles if sources can be believed. By the time the new FAXX is developed, it will need to be able to combat these countermeasures as well as any future technologies that may be currently in development. Of course, it will also need to surpass the speeds of the F-35 and other 5th gen jets if it has any hope of executing these missions. Most 5th generation fighters use turbofan engines, like the Pratt & Whitney F-135, in which the fans generate most of the thrust. This has allowed the F-35 to achieve operational speeds of Mach 1.6 or around 1200 miles per hour, even when bearing a full weapons load though original statements by the Air Force had us thinking that these engines would be the basis for the 6th Gen Fighter Power II. It has since revealed that the new engines will most likely be Adaptive Cycle Engines, or ACE engines. In an ACE system, the engine has the ability to act like both a turbofan and a turbojet engine and will adapt its airflow in order to compensate for varying conditions. This, in theory, allows the system to optimize fuel efficiency while still maintaining speeds above Mach 2 and altitudes likely around 65,000 feet. But since the XA-100 is still in development, we will have to wait and see exactly how far this engine will push it.